Hello friends, Adam here with FED. Today we're going to be talking about the Moral Savant class, why it is lackluster, and what I would do to fix it. But before we get into that, I would like to give a shout out to tonight's Chat Sabotage stream. We'll be continuing Fire Emblem Genealogy, the Holy War Chat Sabotage. We're in the middle of Chapter 1. We should be finishing that and we'll probably start Chapter 2 as well. So come join us for that at 6 p.m. Pacific Time tonight. All right, so Immortal Savant is a really weird class in three houses. It's a hybrid class. It requires swords and reason to get into it. And honestly, I you guys know my feelings on hybrid classes, but I want to talk about how I would fix this class, either a more fun option or a more viable option uh, in the end game. But to, to do that, we need to talk about what's wrong with the class itself before we get to that. So I'm going to go over some... First, I'll probably go over some like common misconceptions with the class that people think make it bad, but then I'm going to tell you why it is actually bad. So, let's get into it. So, the biggest thing people will cite when they say, oh, Moral Savant is bad, is the growths. Now, the thing they always cite is the minus 10 in speed. So, a minus 10 in speed amounts to, like, I know, I know it's a random chance regardless every level up. It's not like how st statistics don't work out perfectly every time, but on average... <clears throat> Immortal Savant will have ten, have one point less speed than, uh, say, a Gremory, which is a another uh, magic-oriented class, master class. So, I mean, sure, less than, one less speed is annoying, but there's also a chance you'll get more speed anyways because it's always a random chance. Uh, it's not a set-in-stone thing because statistics are weird and hard to predict in this sort of environment. So I don't think that's actually that big of a problem with Mortal Savant, especially since it's a master class. It's an end game class. Up to that point, you're probably your units at least it has to be at least level thirty, or even higher. So these growths aren't going to hurt that much. So yeah, don't let growth be the thing that keep you from using Mortal Savant. So the next big thing that's actually a problem, the next big thing that people will talk about, and this one's actually is a problem with the class, are the stat modifiers. So when you change classes in three houses. There are these stat modifiers that uh, are added to your character's personal base stats. So, and here we are with Mortal Savants here. Has an even spread, pretty even spread across the board. I like the plus two magic. I wish it was higher. Uh, but the big thing that hurts it, uh, compared to a lot of other master classes as well, is the one speed. Now you, you compare it to Falcon Knight when mounted, which there's no reason to there's almost no reason to be, not be mounted, uh, and if you aren't mounted, you can just remount. It, it mount flying classes are just busted. That's all I'm trying to get out of here. So plus five speed for them, plus four speed for Wyvern Lord. Uh, but the thing is, a lot of the other master classes lose speed too. So in that case, I guess it's not that bad, uh, especially when you compare it to other magic classes like Dark Knight and Holy Knight. Who both lose speed when mounted and when you compare it to Grammarie who also only has plus one. The real problem with these bases are these two stats right here. Or I shouldn't say bases, these class modifiers. Strength and magic. They only get plus one strength and plus two magic. Now I talked about earlier in an earlier video last week about why I don't like hybrid classes and why I would prefer to have a unit have really high magic or really high strength and not some mixture of both. And that is something that Mortal Savant just spits in the face of. It really wants you to be both a physical fighter and a magical unit, which I don't like. So I'd much rather have the five magical Gremory or the five strength of Warmaster or even the four strength of Wyvern Lord. Yet, this is what we have. <laughs> it's too bad. It's too bad. I will say the one thing that really saves Immortal Savant as a class, and I would say this is only for music, uh, magical units, uh, as far as its stats go, are is are is this? <laughs> uh, it gets plus two move, uh, where the base is four for every character, so it has six move essentially uh, when you're a Immortal Savant, which you know you compare it to the other magic classes, uh, it's honestly pr pretty middle of the road. Except when you look at uh, Grammarie, it is actually better than Grammarie. So I, I feel like if you ha for some reason want a footlocked unit who is uh, um, also a magic person and you want them to have more move, Mortal Savant is the way to go. And it is easier. I, I, 
if you think about it, it is a little easier to get into Mortal Savant than it is to get into something like Dark Knight or Holy Knight, because you don't have to worry about that Riding rank, you don't have to worry about that Lance rank. Uh, it is just, it is swords, but I understand it. it's just swords and magic. So it's only two of them. So really you can focus those for, tr uh, for trainings every week and you'll get there eventually pretty easily. And you don't even need to get them all the way up to the, the A and B requirements or the suggested requirements. You can do them at lower, uh, lower ranks so you can get them easier with some safes coming as well. So yeah, anyways, plus two move for a unit is pretty good. So yeah, that's your best foot-locked magic unit uh, movement speed. So overall, I was kind of all over the place with the base with these uh, class modifiers. Overall, I don't like them, especially the one speed and just the two magic and the one strength. I really like the plus two move though. Really good, really good. Finally, class abilities: Sword Fair and Black Tome Fair. Again, really reinforcing the idea that this is a hybrid class that it wants you to use both swords and black magic, which is fine, but I don't really, I, I would honestly rather have like just black tome fair and also have like, I don't know, dark magic use or like black magic uses times two. Well, I'd rather have like black tome fair and uh, black, uh, black magic crit plus 10, something like that. Just really lean heavy into the magic side of things rather than give us sword fair. I think that would make it a better class overall. And, okay, the Mastered Ability, Warding Blow, uh, it's just plus six re resistance or resilience when fighting, when you initiate combat. So that's honestly pretty bad. So I have two proposed setups to fix Mortal Savant and make it a more uh, effective class, but I think also kind of still stick to the theme of the class being this mystical magical warrior person right and the first that i want to talk about is essentially make it dread fighter from fire emblem echo shadows valentia or fire emblem gaiden originally so with that i would say get totally get rid of black tome fair get rid of black magic as a requirement this class no longer uses magic right instead give it sword fair make warding blow a personal skill I mean, uh, one of the, uh, make, make Warding Blow just an ability of the class and give it a third ability that is like res plus four, res plus two or something. So really market this as this is your quote unquote mage killer uh, class because <laughs> they uh, have good resistance and they can take down uh, and they'll, they can chew through the, the low defenses of, uh, of a mage. So I think that's the big thing. So if, again, if we're going for this more dread fighter oriented look here and we look at the stat boost again or the class the class stat modifiers i get totally get rid of uh the plus two magic and put it all into strength and give it plus uh give it plus three so plus three strength i take the plus two defense and put it onto res and give it plus four res and i take the dex and hp and put it on the speed so it's still the same amount of stats but it rounds out to be uh, three strength, three speed, four res, and two move, instead of a more spread out uh, stat uh, variation. And I feel like just those small changes would make Mortal Savant a more interesting physical class. Now, the other build that I would suggest is a more magical oriented Mortal Savant uh, to, and it would be more, I think this would be a more original uh, concept in the end. Uh, than just doing kind of Dread Fighter all over again with a different name. So I think the first thing we need to do, we'll go to the abilities first. The first thing we need to do is get rid of, obviously, Sword Fair and just Black Tome Fair, do Black Magic Crit plus 10, and then uh, either Black Tome uses times two or something along those lines. I'm not really sure. Maybe Fiendish Blow as an ability. I actually really like that. Fiendish Blow as an ability or even darting blow to like get across that this is supposed to be like a fast magical unit uh, but probably just fiendish blow and then as a mastered ability i'm not really sure probably something you could just keep warding blow it wouldn't be that great but whatever so you're sitting here with black tome fair uh black magic crit plus 10 and then fiendish blow for abilities which is just a really good combo you can stack it with another fiendish blow and another black tome fair if you wanted make it a really high damaging magic unit which I think is, is really fun, personally. 
And now we look at stat boost, what I would change is I do essentially the same thing, except instead of putting the defense in, uh, onto res, I would take the defense and throw it onto the speed, put the dex and throw it onto speed, so you have plus four speed, uh, and then I put the two magic onto, I mean the one strength onto the magic, HP onto the magic. So essentially you're sitting with a plus four magic, plus four speed, uh, plus two res, plus two move. And that really would enhance a unit's ability to a double, but also to just deal massive magic damage and would make it a more interesting unit to choose than, say, Dark Knight, which is honestly just the superior class just because more move uh, overall. So those are my thoughts on how I would fix Mortal Savant, but let me know in the comments what you would change. I think Mortal Savant had the potential to be a really cool class. Um, and even if you want to keep it a more hybrid build, uh, I, would, I would be interested to hear what you guys have to say, how you would change it to be more interesting, but also to stay kind of faithful to the to the character of the of the class, you know. Moral Savant to me felt like it was advertised in the game as this mystical ninja-like class that's supposed to be like fast and uh, doing magic damage in like speedy ways and I mean, like, look at the hand signs they make. They look like freaking ninjas from Naruto or something. Ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> but they aren't fast. They only get one speed. Why only one speed on this class? I thought it would get, you'd think it would get more. You compare it to, like, Swordmaster. It gets four speed. Assassin gets five speed. That's, even just that simple change. Give, give Mortal Savant, like, four speed or something right here. And it's ten times better than it already is. Anyways, again, my thoughts... Just my opinion. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And don't forget, check out tonight's chat sabotage run at 6 p.m. Pacific. We're streaming live and it's a grand old time.